Hello everyone! Today, we're going to explore how to create a custom theme in Bagisto. We'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process, starting with the basics and progressing to advanced concepts. So, in the first section, we will start with the basics by changing the homepage. If you look at Bagisto, this is our current homepage, and we will make some basic changes to see how things work in Bagisto. If I show you the configuration, you'll find it in the theme.php file. In this file, we have two configurations. The first is the shopping configuration, and the second is the admin theme configuration. Let's create a new theme by copying this file and changing its name to new theme. We'll also change the path and update the name accordingly. For the Vite section, we will come back to it later. For now, let's focus on three settings. The name, the assets path, and the views path. The name is what will appear in the channel settings section. The assets path is the location of your assets, which will include all your images, videos, and fonts in your new theme folder. The views path defines the directory for your views in your new theme. Let's create our new theme folder in the registered view directory. If you look in the theme folder, you'll see where our new theme will be created. And now, we will also create a new folder for views. We are actually changing the homepage. To change the homepage, we will go to the shop package and take a copy of the home folder from the views directory. We will copy this home folder and paste it here. We don't need the contact us page at this stage, so we can remove it. Now, in the index.blade.php file, let's keep it simple and give it a name such as my new theme page. To reflect these changes, we need to first go to the admin panel and switch the theme. So let's go to the admin panel and in the settings under channel, we will change the theme from here. This is the new theme. Save the channel. And if I refresh the page, you will see the changes such as my new theme page. This is your customized new theme page, as you can see here. Now let's revert it back again and we will paste the name here my new theme page. So if you see this, we have added my new theme page here. And if I refresh, you will see that your main content is displayed like my new theme page. If you look at the rest of the page, it is still being rendered from the shop package. Let's change the layout as well so that we can see the updates to the layout section. To change the layout section, we will follow the same process. We will go to the shop package. In the shop package, we will navigate to the components folder and locate the layout section. Let's copy the layout section folder and in the views folder, we will create a new folder named components. Then we will paste the layout section folder there. For the rest of the page, we can remove unnecessary parts and keep only the index page. And for this, let's remove everything and view my customized layout page. If I open this page and refresh it, you will see my customized layout page. Let's revert it back again. And if I refresh, you will see the same thing as before. Now, let's change the background color of this section. To do that, we will go to the body section and add a class to see the changes. Let me call it BG Black. If I refresh the page, you will see everything turn black. If I change the channel setting again and show you the reflection, I will save the channel and refresh the page. You will see your default theme. If I change the setting to the new theme and save the channel, you will see the customized layout page. Let's remove this background class now, as it looks very messy. So, again, it is clean. Now we can customize everything as needed. For example, we can remove everything from the header part like this. If I switch it again, you will see that the header part is gone, so you can customize it according to your own requirements. In the next video, I will show you how to create a package and store all your views in that package. From the package, we will publish all the view files to this folder. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.